Nah. Sorry, guys. Um, I guess we're starting not where I want it to, but it's fine. Anyways, I know you guys can hear me, so this is why I'm talking. I wanted to start, right? As you can tell, like, we've got book seven out, but, you know, only, like, the first part of it is out, so it's not really I can do much about that. Um, this should be episode 11. We are at 11. I, I vaguely remember having a soul sister and like, oh, it's my birthday. You know, having that shenanigans going about. I am recording, right? I think I am. I don't know why it's not giving me the little thing. It's like 29 right now, so I can probably record an episode or two. They finally got them all parade. My arm is killing me. Next work, it's all it'll all be sweeter for your pain. The smell alone already has me drooling. I just need to add butter and sugar to the chestnut paste and a sensible splash of oyster sauce. That That is my special ingredient. Oyster sauce? Yep. The um umami of the oyster gives the cream a deep, savory flavor. I use this one here. Wall brand young oyster sauce. All the best bakers use it in their tarts. Really? But isn't oyster sauce, like, super salty? Some folks put chocolate into curry, don't they? Maybe it's the same idea? <laughs> I'm totally lying. No one in their right mind would put oyster sauce into a pastry. What? So you were just yanking our chain? <laughs> I mean, if you use your brain, you would have realized how ridiculous it was. Let that be a lesson to you. Don't believe everything you hear. For, and here I thought that humans were actually somewhat decent. Don't be mean. Trey was just joking around. Like, he said, I love him so. He's, he can be a bit of a, like, you know, a bit of a josher. You know, he's sweet. Like, next I'll put in the cream. Oh, what's wrong? You guys gather so many chestnuts that we may have overdone it with the chestnut paste. I don't think we have enough cream to mix in. Then I'll go buy some. Do they sell it at the school store? They sell pretty much everything, so probably. Can I have you pick me, pick me up a few other things? I need two cartons of milk, two packets of eggs, some muffin cups, five cans of fruit. I don't think I'll be able to carry all that back. Can you help come with me? Why not? I think at this point, given how little we've interacted, I think having not gone to the school store would have been something new. And probably something I might have pointed out. And I'm coming too. I'm getting dizzy from all this stirring. I need a break. This is Mr. Shop. Hello, can I get some... He, whoa, this shop is wild. They have crystal skulls. Grimoires, taxidermy. Uh, I don't even know what animal that is. You think they really sell cream here? Greetings, my stray imps. How fair... How's how faring you today? Welcome to Mr. Sam's Mystery Shop. What among my humble selection interests you? Oh, if you look, I'll tap where where I see it. But the Mickey, like in a lot of the pictures, there's always a hidden Mickey. But like I see the hidden Mickey, I'll tap it like once I finish reading this part. A charm for a seclude. It's to the right of the bubble, though. Like, the top of the bubble. Like, like a little, like, the top right. A charm from a secluded lab. The mummerhood remains of an ancient king. A cursed tarot card. Ter I wasn't expecting this kind of selection. I tapped it, like, twice, so...
egg destroyer. That would be grass and fire. Doesn't really matter. But I am one to kind of at least somewhat want it to be. Let's fill. There we go. One should never underestimate. You know? Because what if I'm. Oh, should I. Wait. Oh, well. What is that? But whatever. Uh, we wanted to buy all the items on this list. Bring up two cans of tuna while you're at it. No, Grim, we're not here for tuna. What's this cream and eggs and quite a scare official list? I'll get everything for you. Well, he really does stock that stuff, huh? Here you go. It's pretty heavy. Are you sure you can carry this? Luckily for you, our one one size Flying saucers are off are thirty percent off today. Perfect for carrying groceries. Well let me see. That sounds awesome. We're fine, thank you. Let's go, Grim. Well, I didn't realize today was National No Fun Allowed Day. Very well. Then until next time, my little imps. Do come again. Ciao. The store was amazing. Yeah. And amazingly cheap. What are you calling cheap? Hmm. Looks like you got the bag with the, all the cans. That must be heavy. Let me take that one. I've got a little trick for carrying heavy bags. I'll cut the power off over. Yeah, my mom always used to stock up at sales and ba the bags would get ridiculously heavy. I was the only man in the house, so I gotta do all the heavy lifting. And Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean... To mop monopolize the conversation. Uh -huh. Yeah, and when you look at it, oh, it's so far. Ow. Ah, the eggs! The curtain of eggs is totally smashed, and now the bag's dripping egg goo everywhere. Ouch, why don't you watch where you're. Hey, you're the jerks who broke the egg goo, so I'm like. My cup carbonara car carbonara. Why do they always have to? Why do rich people like? Why do they like? Maybe I'm just stupid and I can't pronounce the fucking word. But why is it so hard to pronounce? I don't know. We had enough. I've had enough of you punks. You need to learn your place. You're the ones who darted out at us from around the corner and you picked a fight with us at lunch over an egg that you were still totally able to eat and now you destroyed six of our eggs yeah he's right so what you're saying that was our fault wait a minute if they hold up hold up six <laughs> where is it How do we, how does he even know it's six eggs? Because he just mentions it being a carton. Unless the carton is clear. But it's in the back. So how the hell does this know that it's six eggs? Because a carton only has, is like a dozen. Like, a typical carton of six isn't six. It's 12. Unless it's, like... But then again, there's also, like, the one and a half dozen, which is 18 eggs. And then there's, like, oh... Um... The one where you get, like... What is it, like... 
uh, it's like <sighs> I'm trying to remember because we used to like buy the eggs in a box in a big box and it came like with four uh, of those cartons like the little paper ones where you there's multiple a bajillion eggs in there mm. we come from a family of like fucking six so we go through a lot of eggs but yeah how did you fucking do this thing well I am please moon versus for the eggs and apologize to the chickens I'm not cool got his big boy pants on you sure I'm making a big deal out of some stupid eggs what they haven't even touched the ground so they're still edible quit whining you should thank us for saving you the trouble of cracking them. Ha ah, ha 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 ha. That ain't funny, huh? I said that ain't funny. You don't get to call my eggs stupid. You don't get to call any eggs stupid. Those eggs may not have gotten to be chicks, but they were going to make some amazing tarts. Do you get it, do you? What is with this guy all of a sudden? You owe me six eggs. If you, don't, if you ain't going to pay me for them, then you're going to get a bruise bruise for each one. Are you serious right now? Buckle up, jerks. Yeah, when he gets mad, he goes into like, uh, um, I guess you could say bad boy for him. I don't know. Either way, as you can guess, I'm just gonna basically pulverize them, but I was still not gonna like you know, risk anything, because you never don't want to, like, just be like, yeah, I'm going to win, because a few times I'm like that, and then I lose, and I'm like, oh, should have been paying attention, whoops, past priority, oh, <laughs> three. This guy's out of his mind. Wow, let's get out of here. I'm trying to find the piece with the thing on the top so I can... Okay, cool, so I can leave. Next time you eat an egg, you better apologize a hundred times, you bunch of chumps. Deep breath. Whoa! That look grim is all tidy in the background. <laughs> so cute. Pat pat irk. What's wrong? I did it again, didn't I? Ugh. I was just set on becoming an honor shirt at this time too. Huh? When I was in middle school I was pretty wild. I cut school all the time and got in fights. I called my teacher names, hung hung out with bullies, bleached my hair. I tore around tight curves on my... That's what the fuck it's called. I was trying to remember what the fuck the bicycle was called. Because I'm trying to write something. And I could not fucking remember. And it was fucking pissing me off. I'm screenshotting that for myself later. So when I write my fucking fan fiction, I can remember what the fuck the bicycles are called. I'll show off my mag magic to kids who couldn't use it yet. I was a total punk. So you were only a little more annoying than you are now? Don't be mean, Grim. Perfect picture. But one night, I saw my mom talking on the phone to my grandma. She was trying to hide from me, but I saw her and I could tell she was in tears. She was saying how she must have been a horrible mom that maybe she never should have tried to raise me by herself. That had nothing to do with it. She hadn't done anything wrong. It was all me. When the carriage came to take me to Night Raven College, she was so happy for me. I decided then and there that this time I won't do anything to make her cry. This time I'll become an honor student, someone she could be proud of. And I've already messed it all up. I... Did you though? 
Is putting up with jerks what honor students do? Huh? Even I grim the mag no mag I swear to gosh I know how to read. Mag no can manomius was ready to pound those losers into tuna paste. You just got to him first. Just make sure you don't overdo it. You guys. Even honor students get angry sometimes. I mean, look at fucking Riddle. And his, well, Riddle's like the worst case of that, but yes, he does get angry. Um. And even Trey gets a little, like, you know, like, aggravated with people and their bullshit. So. <laughs> I guess you're right. I just hope those chickens can rest in peace. Those eggs worth the time that hatch. What? What? Are you kidding me? Yeah, I mean, the way a chicken becomes a chicken, or is that the egg has to be fertilized? Otherwise, it's just an egg. Are you finally back? Took you long enough. Let's get this tart. <laughs> Let's get this party started. Oh my gosh, Trey. Oh my gosh, Trey. <laughs> Tardy started. Oh my gosh. Fucking silly. I'm fucking bad. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Tardy. I don't know why. Alright, this is a rhythm game. The rhythm part of the rhythm game. Part is put the chestnut cream we made on the tart. And then we can chow down, right? Consider me pumped. Same here. Time to go and bang out this tart. Good to see your eyes on the prize. Let's keep that momentum going. Yeah! Poor deuce. I want to give him a hug. I kind of want to just keep looking at everybody in the background. You just try just kind of like do. Wow, this could be any easier. Good to hear. Keep it up. You can't go wrong with feature Archmage Grimm on the case. Pride comes before the fall, you know. Eggs don't become chicks? What is your malfunction, Deuce? this oh well it's fine I still got it. once we're stuck the macaroon glaze on top of what we done mm. me 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 let me do it you better not screw this up at the last possible moment relax I got this bam maha one flawless chestnut tart courteous I didn't even get to read it
Huh. Hmm. Okay. Sorry, I'm thinking real quick. 28 episodes. Or chapters, Marseille. We're gonna start 14 right now. So, 14. That's 6. That'd be 20. What should it make? Uh... 28. So that's 6, 8. Like how my brain just went. No, it's like, okay, so 6 plus 8. That is 14, right? Yeah, because you take away the 3, you take away the 1, that's 2, that's 4. That's 5, 5. Yeah, that's 14. So. Huh. Um, we'll do 14 and then we'll end this episode here and voila Yeah, so we'll do that. A delicious variety. Okay, now we just sprinkle on a little powdered sugar and finished. Finished. Did something happen to him while you were shopping? He's still in shock. For 16 years, I was so sure. Yeah, whatever. I'm pretty beat. Makes tarts sure takes a it out of you. Hey fam, you look wrecked. Are the tarts done? Ooh, those look so cute. Carter, get the fuck away. Let me snap a quick pic for Magic Cam. Wait, now you decide to show up? I just came to see how hard my little new were working. It's tough work if you're not used to it, but... There's no better cure for the ails of fatigue than something sweet from the oven. Help yourself to some of this tart. Yay! Pretty funny how you managed to show this right when I was ready to eat, Carter. Hehe, <laughs> someone's gotta beat the official taster. Hmm, this smells so good. Glossy chestnut on top. Fluffy cream below. I can't wait. Can't. Below, I can't wait another. Okay, another second. I'm going in. Oh, dang. Yum. Like and subscribe. This is like something from a fancy bakery. Rich in flavor, yet not too sweet. It's like chestnuts are dancing across my tongue. Is that a good thing? Oh, Trey, you gotta do the thing. The thing? Oh, that. You want to fill me in here? What? What's everyone's favorite food? Me, probably cherry pie or hamburgers. Canned tuna at the top of my list. Then maybe cheese omelets, roast meat pudding. If I had to pick, I guess I'll say omelet rice. I like a nice lamb chop with Diablo sauce. What the fuck? I can't. All right, you got it. Let's paint the roses. Huh? What does that mean? Take another bite of your tart and see. Huh? How? Now it tastes like cherry pie? It's like canned tuna, munch munch. Now it tastes like a cheese omelet. Ooh, and grilled meat, munch munch. And pudding. Meat trick, eh, it's got to be a hit when Trey's having tea with the ladies. It's very impressed. It changes flavors or signature spell, Trey. Technically, it's overriding characteristics. I can change taste, color, smell, whatever. It only lasts for a little while. 
but it's kind of like covering up the real thing, hence painting. If I had a magic like that, I could be eating canned tuna every meal for every day. That's way better than Riddle's stupid collar magic. Oh, that's a whole other league. His signature spell is a weapon. Mine's just a child. Just, 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 fuck. I swear, it's because I, I, I can speak. I swear to fucking God, I can. Speaking of Riddle, it's too late to give him these now. Let's call it a day and do it tomorrow. Don't forget that tomorrow's the end birthday party. You don't want to be late. Can I crash with you again? It doesn't sound like I'll be allowed back in my own dorm tonight. Again? Seriously? It isn't right to keep mooching off. Oh. Others. Da -da -da. Yeah, I, it, if it... I swear to gosh, I can speak. Yeah, it ain't. If you want to stay tonight, you gotta pay for the privilege. Ten cans of tuna. What? Guess I'm sleeping outside then. Why don't you stay at U's dorm too, Deuce, so you can keep an eye on him? As vice house warden, I can issue a sleepover pass. That's our tray, always spoiling the noobs. What fun for you. Oh, maybe I can come too. What do you say? You No pass for you. <laughs> Thank you, Trey. I love you. Aw, oh, sad trumpet. Womp, womp, womp. God, he's so annoying. Sorry to dump them all on you, you. At least that just it for the night. No problem. Tomorrow's the own birthday. Finally, I'm gonna get rid of this stupid collar. Just you wait, Riddle. Actually, it's probably a good thing that I'm doing this one because it's like, like the next episode will start the own birthday party. So I think that'll be fair. Trey Carter. You're finally back. We've been looking everywhere for you. What happened? Ten dorm members were caught violating rule 256. No drinking honey sweetened lemonade after 8 p.m. House House ri House Warden Riddle collared them all. I can't take it anymore. I can't live like this. Everything we do violates some insane rule. I want to transfer to another dorm. Sob. It'll be okay. We can talk to the house warden. You go You go back to your room. Sigh. I guess I better go make some tea or something. As a show of deference to the queen. Thanks, Carter. Oh, but make sure it's herbal tea, not blood. You know what rule 153 says about drinking tea at night? Yeah, sure. Of course. God, I want to take Riddle and shake his fucking dumb ass. Just like, why are you stupid? I mean, don't get me wrong. Riddle's Riddle's Riddle. But, um, I mean, he's a bit overbearing. But I, I mean, I get it. But it like, I don't, like, it's like, calm the fuck down. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, so. Do, 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 do. We're going to stop this. So, yeah, for now, Tiny Switcher Pieces, signing out.